Right, so Caitlin, we've got the army um, in our final pre-season friendly before the women's uh, Super League gets started. Uh, how are you feeling ahead of the game? I'm very excited, to be fair, to say that we had our first uh, friendly last a few weeks ago against Shaw, and that were a good test for us to try out some new moves, uh, try and get used to how we all play again, because it's been a long uh, off-season. I think it would be a great test to us and the girls and it's just a big experience from last season because we've all got our thick shirts this year, we're all getting ready. But no, really excited for the game against the Army this weekend. You've played York, was the other pre-season, you're 42-0, a pretty comprehensive result. Um, how are you girls feeling going into this new campaign, especially off the success that you had last season? Uh, we're still not going to take anything for granted, we're still going to work for everything that we will get given this year. And at the end of the day, a lot of teams will have new players, they'll have new moves and everybody's going to be fitter and stronger. So we can't expect anything. So just play our way, how everything comes and we'll take it from there. You scored a hat-trick in the game against uh, the Army in the Challenge Cup last season. Uh, how do you view them as opponents uh, for this game? They're tough. They are really tough. They are a very strong team, very good with contact. Uh, but I think we had the speed at the end of the day. So um, hopefully it's, it'll stay the same, but we can't take anything for granted, like I've said previously. So we'll just we'll just take out it comes on the day. And uh, you've got two new players in the camp uh, for this new season. How have they been gelling with the squad, and what might they bring um, to, as we say, a pretty successful squad? They fit in brilliantly. They've, it's like they've been part of the team since the very beginning, and it's a great setup for them to be involved in. With them both coming from Union, they've got a rugby background. It doesn't matter which which side it's in. It's still a good um, it's still a good add to the team. So really looking forward to playing with them both again. And they did bring a quite a big support to the team when we played against York. And. Uh... In terms of the pre-season prep, you've been out to uh, Catrick, uh, the army base. Uh, what was it like going out there and going through the sorts of stuff that these girls, who you'll be playing uh, on Sunday, uh, go through? It was very difficult, to be fair. Um, I'm, I'm very shocked at how they can go through that as many times as they do as they told us they did. So they must be so strong, and that's where it comes into contact. So strong, so physical, and they will be fit at the end of the day. So we need to keep it on top. You had a, for yourself you had a lot of personal success last season, young player of the year uh, here at the Rhinos. Uh, also an England call-up for the game against France. Uh, how proud are you of your achievements last season? I think it went all right last season. I'm not going to uh, big myself up. No, I, I was really happy with how last season went to say it was my first proper season in uh, open age. Uh, but I think that's where the advantage came. Not many people know me, so this season will be definitely be tough. But I've just got to try hard for it. And how good will it be? Will it be to be back up at Wheatwood Park um, after uh, last season? Absolutely amazing. The facilities there are unreal, and we are so lucky to have a place that looks after us as much as they do. Uh, with the food, the facilities, it's just a great setup, and the pitch is absolutely amazing. So really looking forward to it.